some floaty, floaty, floaty fabric, right? And this fabric, right, is instantaneously everywhere, right? According to Einstein, right? And in Newtonian, should what's we call it, is instantaneous gravitational energy, stringy stuff. Right, in my legendary theory, which is better than both of them, gravity, 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 right, uh, gravity, ST, you travel faster than the speed of light, right, and gravity, or ST, make up the equilibrium, which is what Einstein talked about, about the fabric of space, and you get this gravity well, and uh, your planet spin around, you see the picture where it's all spinning around a little bowl. Well, hmm, it's the equilibrium, and the moon that was spinning around the planet, which was spinning around the sun, and all that, that's, that moon that was shown, um, that's sitting in an equilibrium line. And it doesn't look like the fabric of space, which is shown, it's just a representation, I suppose. Right, but that's really what happens, okay? Now, this video belittles Newton, right? It says, oh, Newton was harboring a secret. He didn't know how gravity is produced, only could measure it. Well, today you don't know how gravity is really produced, you thick bastards. Go on, you tell me how it's produced. It's an ultra strong magnetic force. That's all it is. All right? It's an ultra strong magnetic force. Then you say, nothing can travel faster than the speed of light. Well, sorry, gravity, ST, sorry, ST travel faster than the speed of light. Always have done, always will do. Then you say, Einstein and Newton's theories about Max. Ah, right then. Now, then you get this stupid little um, animation thing where you've got the sun vaporising. Now for a start we've got to imagine that he said vaporising for a start. Okay? And when 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 he says vaporise, he didn't say explode, right? He said vaporise. So that's instantly just quashing the sun and pretending it wasn't there. Right? Now, in Einstein's theory, you'd have to wait until those light particles, light photons, right, um, which were emitted at the last point when the sun was alive, right? You gotta wait those eight minutes, right, until there's no light left, and then an effect starts happening to the Earth, right? Hmm. Hmm. No, it's a little bit short talking about it. It isn't instantaneously, right? And the effect isn't quick and. The other thing you've got to imagine is there's other planets out there like Saturn and Jupiter, which are giants, right? and their gravity might catch planets. And this doesn't even explore that, that, that kind of theory neither. It just, it just simplifies things down to a really, really simple thing and says everything's the same speed of light, which it isn't. Right? Some things travel faster than light, a lot of things travel slower than light. Vaporizers of Newton, Saturn, Jupiter, who cares about eight minutes? Well, I think that's about it, really. I know it's a bit vague and I'm a bit tired, and I just really couldn't be bothered to do a really good video about this. I just thought I'd upload some stuff just to annoy the person that put it up, and all you people who just go, Oh, Einstein, yes, praise it's everything he said, praise it. No, there's a lot of things that Einstein has written and has said that I agree with, but unfortunately, there's some things which are just, no, you know, no, right, um, no, <laughs> sorry, the speed of light is the fastest you can go, no, I don't believe uh, Einstein's theory of uh, speed of light barrier, I believe you can tra travel faster than the speed of light, and I believe an English science experiment in a coal mine in Norfolk, I think it was, or somewhere like that, I 
think it was Norfolk or Leicester or Nottingham Shea. Um, it corks some of these things that go faster than the speed of light. But it looks like they're called tachyons. And they travel at speeds greater than the speed of light. And they've been caught and captured and examined. It's, it's quite amazing, you know, um, how a you know, hundred years ago scientists were saying things and then today the same things which the scientists a hundred years ago said was impossible and it happens in all science it's called evolution and we've just got to let go of some of the bits and bobs that don't fit in Einstein's two theories because he's got two theories he's got general relativity and then what was it special relativity because it, cause the general one didn't quite work so we had to do another one called special just to make up for the discrepancies <laughs> you know what I'm saying it was a special general yes I got a special general relativity correlation difference <laughs> yeah not everything in the universe is the same so I'm going to make two theories because there's two parts to the universe there's the real universe, then there's the bullshit universe. So I'll have general and special. I'll have a special relativity for those special things that I don't quite understand. And I'll have a general relativity for the general stuff that we generally understand. So I've got a general understanding and a special understanding. General special understanding relativity. Yeah. <sighs> So, something like that, anyway. So, enjoyed that one. <laughs>